Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here at Oculus Launch's uh, launch preview. I'm here with uh, James uh, from Carb Carbon. And James, can you tell us what we just looked at here? You just saw AirMac Command, which is the launch title for the Oculus Rift in a few short days. <laughs> cool. Can you, can you walk us through what the game's about? It's an action RTS uh, with more of a tabletop-like view of it. So instead of being an overhead, you know, you're looking down at, at the map, now all of a sudden it's all around you. You're looking like left and right and able to zoom the camera in and out. It's, it's both a really comfortable experience and also intense because you've got you know, multiplayer and co-op modes available. It's sort of a little something for everybody. I mean, I wanted to make something that was more of a, an actual game that you could play for long sessions at a time. And we really worked a long time on you know, how far away are you looking, how close are you looking, and just make it sync up right for VR. It seems like a very unique title. It's uh, you know as you mentioned, it's like an action RTS. I mean, I think the action comes in. Yeah, it's basically like a twin sh uh, twin shooter, twin stick yeah, shooter, twin stick shooter. Twin stick shooter where you have a, a mech that can transform between a jet and like a traditional walking around mech, right? And the jet can only attack like other air vehicles, and then the mech can only attack like ground units, right? Yeah. And then the uh, the RTS is you know kind of like a simple version of, of like Starcraft or something like that. Uh, can you talk about like how you like hit that design, uh, you know, that design point? Well, the the actual root of the whole game was from something that I loved in my childhood. It was called Herzog's Y. It was uh, it was on the Genesis, and they they kind of nailed this this RTS. They were sort of the first RTS. You flew around and you could transform, the, you know, onto the ground and fly in the air and pick up units and drop it down. And nobody knew what it was back then, but. There were some of us that loved it, and I was one of the, the people that, that loved it, and I wanted to bring it back forever. And you know, we we have you know worked on it as a more of a traditional title, and that that was okay. It was a little confusing. We've got MOBA players that come in and they think it's like a MOBA, but it's not quite. And we've got StarCraft players that come in and think it's like an RTS, and it's not really an RTS either. So it's it's kind of been this confusing in between title that we've loved, and you know, some of the the, the players that we've brought into the game they they love it, and there's a real like little cult following for it but to see it come into VR I think it really comes into its own and it's, it's a very unique title and that's why you know when Oculus saw it they were like how can we help you bring this because you know it's it's such a great example of why you can see VR and, and when you're talking to somebody and trying to explain to them how am I gonna you know why, why do I want to look at this title because I can see it I can see I can go look on the internet and find a video of you know Air Mac and okay that's, that's one thing I can sort of imagine what it's like in VR I really think you can like it's it's an entirely new experience in VR and I really encourage people to try it because it, it shows you how much VR can bring to any type of game and we, we sort of have to look at every type of game again in VR I mean you you just tried it uh, did it did, how did it meet up with your expectations uh you know so i i thought it was very immersive i mean it's obviously you know harkening back to the tabletop experience and it actually feels like you're just sitting down like looking at a tabletop and controlling the mech in real time uh and it was great and you know we played earlier i played uh you know multiplayer with the camera guy who uh, destroyed me uh <laughs> can you is the game largely going to be like multiplayer focused is it going to be like a like largely a single player game like you know well, what's that about I think it's going to depend on what the person that's playing it wants to do. I mean, we see a lot of people approach it differently. Some people don't like playing online with other people, and that's totally fine. You know, they can methodically play through the missions, unlock things, play as much as they want, because it's fun to kind of cat and mouse with the AI. I like doing that a lot. And then when you go into a multiplayer experience, it shifts to that, like, super intense, like, I get stressed out when I start playing online. It's like... It's just a totally different experience, uh, and some people like that. But there's also the, the co-op modes. Like, if you want to ease into, like, okay, I'm going to play with somebody else. They're going to walk me through it, and I'm going to discover, oh, hey, I play with another person, and he's going to choose, like, a support mech, and I'm going to choose an offensive mech. And, you know, they work really well together. And then, you you know, you get a little bit encouraged of, like, hey, maybe we want to try our luck against other people. And you, you can do that, but I don't mean anybody to be forced down that path. It's just... Everybody's got their own comfort level, how they want to play, but everybody enjoys just sitting there and marveling at like this animated battle going on in front of them. That's what I, I love when people just, they sort of stop for a moment and they just look around and that's, that's the magic point. Yeah, there, there, I, mean, I felt like there's always uh, you know, plenty of stuff to do and uh, you, know, you had to control your mech and, and uh, you know, obviously your army as well. Uh, final question, uh, price and release date? It'll be thirty nine ninety nine USD uh, on the Oculus launch day. Is that the twenty eighth? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. 
yeah, so it'll it'll be there and ready, and we're gonna be doing tons of updates. Um, I mean, we're, we're already used to shipping games and, and updating them a lot. I think we're like 200 something updates into our original game. We love to support games, and everything you can imagine is gonna come along for this as far as future ways to interface with the game and stuff. It's all gonna be part of the original title, just as updates. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to the full release. Uh, for more information on Oculus Rift, check out MaximumPC.com. <laughs>